All right, welcome back to the Tweaking Tools series. This is episode seven, and today we're doing something a little different. Instead of chasing big GPU overclocks or max power settings, we're focusing on the hidden memory limiters inside Windows and NVIDIA's drivers that quietly throttle low-end and mid-range GPUs. If your graphics card struggles with sudden drops, stuttering when loading textures, or VRAM hitting the ceiling, even when usage says 50%, you're probably running into one of these limits. We'll fix that in five clean steps, no risky flashing, no BIOS mods, just smart system level changes. And like always, everything we do here is tested, safe, and 100% reversible. Let's get started. Step one, uncap GPU VRAM allocation. Registry fix. Windows often puts a soft cap on how much system memory your GPU can use for shared graphics tasks. This can really limit performance on lower-end GPUs, especially those with only 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes of VRAM, or if you're using integrated graphics that rely heavily on system RAM. To fix this, open Registry Editor, Reg Edit, and navigate to Here, you'll create or modify a few D-word 32-bit values. 1. TDR Delay Value 10 this increases the timeout delay, giving your GPU extra time to respond before Windows assumes it has crashed and resets the driver. It helps reduce random GPU resets during heavy loads or long renders. 2. HW SCED Mode Value 2 This turns on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling which offloads some scheduling tasks from the CPU to the GPU. It can improve smoothness and lower latency if your drivers and hardware support it. 3. Disable preemption. Value 1. This prevents the system from constantly interrupting GPU tasks, known as preemption. It helps reduce stutter and stops VRAM from being wasted on unnecessary context switching. To revert, simply delete these entries or set their values back to zero. Once everything's set, restart your PC so Windows can rebuild the GPU scheduling layer using your new settings. After reboot, you should notice more stable VRAM usage and smoother performance under load. Step 2. Disable Windows Hidden VRAM Compression Layer Windows automatically applies a feature called Graphics Memory Compression. It's designed to help high-end GPUs save bandwidth by compressing VRAM data on the fly. While that's useful for powerful cards, on mid-range or older GPUs, it can actually create extra latency and slowdowns during heavy texture loads or scene transitions. To turn this off, open Command Prompt as Administrator and run the following command. This tells Windows to disable the forced VRAM compression layer. Doing so often reduces micro stutters and hitching, especially in games or 3D apps that stream textures frequently. You might also notice smoother frame pacing and slightly faster loading when switching between detailed environments. To revert back, just run this command. Once done, restart your PC so the change takes effect. On the next boot, your GPU will run without the extra compression overhead, allowing direct memory access for smoother real-time performance. Step 3. Tune NVIDIA Profile Inspector and Control Panel. Now it's time to fine-tune how your NVIDIA driver handles memory and performance on its own. These tweaks help balance power behavior and VRAM management so your GPU stays consistent under heavy or fluctuating loads. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector, make sure you're using the latest version, and search for your main game profile, or just adjust the global driver profile if you want the settings to apply system-wide. Apply the following settings. Frame Rate Limiter Mode, Off, lets the game or external tools handle FPS control, prevents double limiting. Low Latency Mode, Ultra, reduces input lag and keeps the render queue as short as possible. Power Management Mode Prefer Maximum Performance Stops the GPU from downclocking during gameplay or scene changes. Shader Cache On 
allows compiled shaders to be reused, speeding up loading and reducing stutters. Texture filtering quality, high performance, forces minimal overhead in texture processing, trading a bit of detail for stability. CUDA, force P2 state, off, disables the secondary power state that can throttle memory speeds on certain GPUs. After saving those, open the NVIDIA control panel, manage 3D settings, global settings, and confirm these options. Texture filtering, trilinear optimization, on. Threaded optimization, auto. Vertical sync, off. Click apply and close the panel. These stop the driver from power throttling the GPU memory bus when it's under low load. You'll see more stable clocks and fewer dips during fast camera movement or scene transitions. Step 4. Optimize system paging plus GPU shared memory. When your GPU runs out of dedicated VRAM, Windows automatically starts offloading textures and assets into system RAM or the page file. The problem is, if that page file sits on a slow hard drive, performance can drop sharply. You'll feel it as texture pop-ins, sudden freezes, or slow scene loading. The goal here isn't to make the page file bigger, but to make it smarter and more consistent. Press Windows plus R, type sysdm.cpl, and hit Enter. Go to Advanced tab, Performance, Settings, Advanced, Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Now set a custom size, initial size, equal to your total RAM in megabytes. Maximum size, 1.5 times your total RAM. If your system drive is an SSD or NVMe, keep the page file there. It's much faster for texture streaming and shared GPU memory access. For HDDs, it's better to use a smaller page file or move it to the SSD if possible. Step 5. Flush VRAM and shader caches safely. Sometimes old shader cache data or broken VRAM allocations linger between driver installs, especially on older systems. We'll clean that up. Run these commands, admin cmd. Your system will rebuild all cache data fresh, leading to cleaner frame loads and faster texture streaming. Revert? None needed. Caches will rebuild automatically. And that's how you remove the hidden VRAM and memory throttles that slow down low-end GPUs. No mods, no risk. Just smart system tuning that gives your card a little more breathing room. You'll notice the difference mostly in texture-heavy games. Smoother loading, fewer drops, less hitching. It's not about adding more VRAM, it's about letting your system use what it already has more efficiently. In the next episode, we'll dive into PCIe lane balancing and bus latency tuning, especially useful for GPUs that sit on older motherboards or shared slots. If you've made it this far in the Tweaking Tool series, you've already learned how to push Windows, your drivers, and your hardware into actually working together.